Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant stride towards modernizing its defense capabilities, the U.S. Army has commenced the deployment of its Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense, DEM Shorad, systems in Iraq. Reported by Defense News, this deployment marks a pivotal moment as the Army tests its advanced laser weapon systems in real combat scenarios to evaluate their efficacy and operational readiness. According to Lt. Gen. Robert Rash, Director of the Army's Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office, the deployment comprises three DEM Shorad laser-equipped combat vehicles, with plans for a fourth vehicle to join after undergoing further modifications. This move is aligned with the Army's broader strategy of integrating 50-kilowatt laser platforms into its arsenal, aimed at bolstering defensive measures against aerial threats. The DEM Shorad program stands as a cornerstone of the Army's strategy to significantly enhance its air defense capabilities in response to evolving aerial threats. With the proliferation of unmanned aerial systems, UASs, and their deployment in various conflicts worldwide, including the ongoing situation in Ukraine, the need for robust, mobile air defense solutions has become increasingly urgent. Recognizing this escalating threat landscape and the limited air defense assets available to U.S. Army divisions, the Army embarked on an ambitious plan to augment the air defense posture of its maneuver forces. The objective was to equip Army units with the capability to effectively counter a wide range of aerial threats, from drones to more traditional aircraft and missile threats. The DEM Shorad program, with its integration of 50-kilowatt class high-energy laser weapon systems onto Stryker A18x8 armored vehicles, represents a pinnacle of this strategy. This innovative combination aims to provide a cutting-edge air defense solution designed to counter various aerial threats effectively. The DEM Shorad vehicle's laser weapon system offers a significant advantage in terms of speed, precision, and cost efficiency. By harnessing the power of directed energy, it can engage and neutralize threats at the speed of light, providing a nearly instantaneous response. This rapid engagement capability is crucial in high-threat environments where quick response times are paramount. Moreover, the precision of the system minimizes collateral damage, making it suitable for operations in diverse environments, including populated areas where the risk to civilians must be minimized. Additionally, the operational cost per engagement is lower compared to traditional kinetic weapons, as the system relies on electrical power. The mobility aspect of the DEM Shorad vehicle is equally impressive. Built on the Stryker A1 platform, it benefits from the proven mobility, survivability, and versatility of the Stryker family. With upgrades such as the Double V Hull, DVH, for enhanced protection against mines and improvised explosive devices, and an 8x8 wheel configuration for excellent mobility across varied terrains, the DEM Shorad can be rapidly repositioned to support maneuver forces, thereby enhancing overall force survivability. In conclusion, the deployment of DEM Shorad systems in Iraq underscores the U.S. Army's commitment to staying at the forefront of military technology. As these advanced laser weapon systems undergo real combat testing, they represent a significant step towards enhancing the Army's air defense capabilities and ensuring the protection of ground forces in an ever-evolving threat landscape. That's all for now. See you later.